ceasefires won't, they're not there, on, they're not on the horizon right now. But they may be in a couple of weeks. They may be a little bit longer than that. And it will all depend on two things. The war, of course, where that's going. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. And the talks. Because I'm absolutely sure that it's only on the basis of some minimum confidence building that might come out of those talks, and I'm being hopeful here, as opposed to objective, that you will see the, the beginning of the Russian Federation turning its, turning its eyes on potential ceasefires. So we need to watch the talks very, very carefully. Turkey is, 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 a, is a very, very important uh, aspect of this. There isn't, in classical mediation terms, there isn't a mediation really going on between the Russians and the Ukrainians uh, in, in the way that you and I understand mediation. But the Turks come closest to it, I think, of all member states. And of course, it's important to them, and that's why they're doing so well, and that's why the Secretary General had this detailed discussion yesterday, as you know, with President Erdogan, and that's not the first time he's had that. And I'll be following up to see, on the basis of that call, is there any way in which the United Nations can contribute, perhaps with Turkey or in any other way, to that process, that vital talks process, that may be slightly stumbling at the moment, but has certainly got to be where we put our hopes for the future. The Russians continue. We have, a, we have a cell in Moscow, and we have done, as you know, for some time. I think I've spoken about it in this room before. Um, and they continue daily, and my colleagues continue daily, to plan for convoys to move. And we've had a number of successful movements of convoys, but completely inadequate in terms of the overall requirement. Um, and we have a system of humanitarian notification. We notify the Russians, we notify the Ukrainians, and if they don't come back and say, no, it's too dangerous, we go. We do the, we do the movement. Um, so there was a lot of discussion about that. I think, the, the, I think it would be fair to say that right now, if I could speak for the Russian authorities, um, they are not, uh, not putting a, local ceasefires at the top of their agenda. Not yet. Our priority right now, and you will see plans to do this um, in the next couple of days, is to get a convoy through into Donetsk and to supply from there into Luhansk and into those different areas, and then to stay.